According to reports, the United States has made significant strides in the field of 6G technology, sparking heated discussions in the global tech community. American scientists have reportedly developed a new antenna technology that can greatly improve the transmission speed and capacity of 6G networks. This breakthrough is considered a crucial milestone for the United States in the realm of 6G. 6G is not just a communication technology, it is also a war that involves national security and economic development. In this competition, China and the United States are the primary rivals. The one who seizes the initiative will have control over the future discourse and market share. Therefore, the competition between the two countries in the 6G field is exceptionally fierce. Point 6G refers to integrated communication between the Earth and space, including ground and satellite communication. Elon Musk's Starlink project is a potentially risky endeavor in this context. The plan involves launching over 40,000 small satellites, covering the Earth to provide seamless global network and communication services. Following real-world testing on the Russia-Ukraine battlefield, the effectiveness of Starlink has garnered significant attention. Musk recently announced the launch of a director satellite plan for mobile phones, allowing direct satellite internet connectivity, without the need for antennas as relays. I in the development of 6G in the United States, efforts have been made to form a so-called 6G alliance by collaborating with tech companies from other countries to collectively invest and surpass China. Although China currently leads with a 35% share of 6G patents compared to the US as 18%, the total share increases to 54% when considering patents from US allies in Japan, South Korea, and Europe, diminishing China's advantage. However, Huawei, a Chinese company, has made preparations. The chief scientist of Huawei 6G laboratory, Wang Jun, announced that Huawei has completed satellite internet verification for 6G. According to the plan, China will deploy 13,000 satellites to form a constellation system and build China's Starlink by 2027. These announcements indicate that China has taken a significant step in the field of 6G initiating the formal competition between China and the US in 6G. China hopes to maintain its lead and drive the development of mobile communication technology globally. I in the realm of corporations, during the 3G and 4G eras, Qualcomm in the U. Est was undoubtedly the leader in the industry. It not only set standards for the communications industry but also owned a large number of core patents, collecting patent fees ranging from 3.5% to 5% from major smartphone manufacturers, along with profits from chip sales. Huawei, however, surpassed Qualcomm based on 5G, leading with a 21% market share compared to Qualcomm's 10%. Since the 5G era began, Huawei's patents have overshadowed Qualcomm's, and the price of patents has been continuously decreasing. Moreover, Huawei's Kareem 9000 outperforms Qualcomm in terms of performance and power consumption, leaving Huawei in a dominant position and even hindering Qualcomm's chip sales during its peak. Additionally, Huawei's 5G smartphones have achieved significant sales in Europe, breaking the US dream of monitoring the world. Huawei is actively promoting the application of 5G technology, exemplified by the Legion program. Huawei has formed over 20 professional R&D teams, delving into various industries, transforming traditional industries into intelligent manufacturing using 5G and Harmony OS technology. Ren Jingfei once said, with 5G and Harmony OS, miners can wear suits, sit in air-conditioned rooms, and remotely control a coal mining robot. Huawei's 5G technology has become a productivity enhancer. When the United States learned about China's 5G technology, they became utterly desperate. They realized they could not surpass China in 5G, leading them to change their strategy and start laying the groundwork for 6G to prevent China from establishing dominance. In summary, China's leadership in the 5G era can be attributed to several factors. 
Firstly, the Chinese government attaches great importance to the development of 5G technology, investing significant funds and manpower. Secondly, Chinese communication companies such as Huawei and ZTE are globally leading in the research and development of 5G technology. Lastly, China possesses a vast user market and application scenarios, providing ample space for the commercial application of 5G technology. I in the 5G era, Huawei's rise dealt a fatal blow to Qualcomm. Huawei, with a 21% share of core patents, ranked first, while Qualcomm dropped to the fourth position. Simultaneously, in the construction of 5G infrastructure, China has taken a commanding lead over the United States with the highest number of base stations and users globally. Faced with China's robust 5G development, the US chose to lag behind. Insisting on millimeter wave technology as the correct choice for 5G, ultimately taking a D2.by the end of 2021, the US had only constructed 100,000 5G base stations, while China reached 1.5 million, 15 times more than the US. This made the US aware of its lag in the field of 5G. However, rather than giving up, the US intensified its efforts and recognized the importance of competing in critical areas. The US government's enactment of the US Innovation and Competition Act is legislation aimed at strengthening US competitiveness in technology and manufacturing. The act allocates $250 billion to support basic research key technologies, manufacturing, including R&D and promotion of 6G. This signifies the US government's high regard and support for the development and promotion of 6G technology and moreover, the United States has established the Next G Alliance and invited 24 technology companies to participate, demonstrating a strong commitment to enhancing organizational collaboration in the field of 6G. This alliance brings together technology giants such as Apple, Google, Microsoft, Qualcomm, and others, and their participation undoubtedly provides robust support for the development and widespread application of 6G standards. Additionally, the United States has increased investment in space internet. Elon Musk's Starlink project has launched over 5,200 satellites into low Earth orbit with plans to cover the globe with at least 40,000 satellites, providing global network and communication services without dead zones. This plan is expected to have a significant impact on the global communication technology sector, certainly. China has also made progress in the field of 6G. For instance, Chinese scientists have successfully developed terahertz communication technology, a core component of 6G networks. Furthermore, Chinese communication companies are actively advancing the research and development of 6G technology. However, China faces some challenges in the 6G domain. Firstly, China's investment in 6G technology research and development is relatively low and needs strengthening. Secondly, China's influence in setting 6G technology standards needs to be enhanced, nevertheless. China has reasons not to be overly concerned. 5G plus satellite communication equals 6G, and the US began 6G research and development even before fully establishing 5G. It's akin to an infant trying to run without even learning to walk, it's a pipe dream. The US has already suffered significant setbacks in 5G, and losing another battle in 6G would see China surpassing the US, making China the world's most powerful country. Every revolution in communication technology brings about significant social progress and opportunities. It can be said that whoever controls the new generation of communication technology holds the key to future economic development. With the rapid development of mobile internet, Mobile communication technology has become crucial for transmitting internet information. Whoever controls the construction and toll rights of this information superhighway holds the economic lifeline for development. development.